So in this video, we will show you the essential process by which the analog to digital conversion occurs. This is called successive approximation. There are a couple of components. The unknown input exists here that we're trying to sample and will eventually show up as a digital output. We're going to demonstrate how this works by playing a game. And we need one person to be mean and one person to be smart. Professor Yarabali, which one do you want to be? The mean one or the smart one? If you ask like that, I want to be the smart one. Okay. okay, so I'm the mean person. That's me right here. And what has just happened is I have guessed a number, a 8-bit number. And this 8-bit number it can exist from 0 to 255. But I'm not going to tell you what it is. You're going to have to guess. But you're going to give me some hints. I am. So Professor Yarabali is going to make a guess right here. And then I'm going to tell him whether his answer is high or low. Okay. I'm going to guess 128. Okay. Good guess. Professor Yarabali guesses 128. Uh, my answer is lower than that. So it's lower than that. So I'm going to choose 64. Ah, good guess. 64, but not right. My answer is lower than 64. Okay, even lower. So I'm mm. going to guess 32. Ah, 32. Now you've stumped me. My guess is actually higher, or it might be 32. Okay, so I will guess between 64 and 32. I'll guess 48. Hmm, 48. Uh, my guess is lower than 48. Okay, so 32 and 48, I guess 40. Ah, getting closer. Uh, my guess is higher than 40, or it might be 40 itself. Okay, so... How about 44? Uh -huh. Closer still. My guess is lower than 44. Come on, give me the answer. No. I'm going to go for 42. Mm -hmm, 42. My answer is higher than 42, or it might be 42 itself. Okay, how about 43? Mm -hmm, 43. My answer is lower than 43. Uh, you you got to be kidding me. It is 42. It is. Good guess. My answer was 42. And that's what will come out over here. Do, do you want to see a cool trick? Yeah, show me. All right. What if every time you guessed, I gave a binary value? And what if I said a low meant 0 and a high meant 1? So you guess low, low, high, low, high, low, high, low, in that order. Now, uh -huh. uh, so what you've done is in each guess, you're guessing one bit of the binary representation of the number. Absolutely. Starting with the most significant bit and winding down to the least significant bit. Yeah, so if you look at this first guess, if you look at this first guess, we can see something very significant happened. By guessing 128, I was forced to tell Professor Yarabali what bit 7 was, and I did that by saying it was low. Then, knowing bit 7, he then guessed bit 6. And one by one, he guessed each bit in order from bit 7 all the way down to bit 0. That's a cool trick. It's not really a trick. It's actually how your A to D converter in your microcontroller works. It's called successive approximation because each guess reveals one bit. So with our 12-bit converter, the same process happens except it has to guess 12 times. So the ADC conversion speed is linear with the number of bits. Yes. That is, if I double the number of bits, it's going to take double the amount of time to reach an answer. Yes.